a little update on the Virago project. Yeah, I had a different tank originally, but it turns out that uh, this ben Mojave Benelli tanks are different. You can get different ones. And this one had a very tiny opening in the front. So I got a different one that looks exactly the same on the outside, but the front has a bigger opening. And that was because I wanted to get that consistent line between the frame and the, and the seat and the tank. And also that subframe that I bought, um, I don't think I'll buy a ready to go one again, because eventually what I was doing was a bit shorter and it was a bit different. So the seat was going a bit like downwards and the tank the other one or this at the beginning was going down too so eventually i had to cut it all up and uh, extend it and change it and i see that a lot of people do different uh, modifications here to mount it so this is not finished yet but that's how i approached it so i extended uh, those tubes made that plate that i'm gonna cut eventually but now it's just uh giving me the measurement for the tank height and the last thing i need to do is weld on a little uh metal sleeve here so that's where and then i'm gonna thread it and the bolt's gonna go here just work on it here so then i need to just weld it on but now doing this when i put the seat on a beautiful straight line going down so that's great very happy with it the other thing that i recently i mounted that um tail light inside of it that's not my idea i saw that great youtube video and the guy done it like that so i just copied him i don't know uh who was it exactly so i can tag him or put the link to it but just saying that's not my idea completely copy that but works great obviously i'm gonna put nicer and right size bolts there to hold it nicely but yeah taillight looks great mounted like that so yes yeah, slowly getting there trying to get all the things put on as i want to and then i'll be able to take it apart and do all the nice stuff cleaning polishing painting and all that that's quite a cool bit that i made myself uh that's a yamaha r6 uh top uh triple tree and i made that piece from aluminium while they're on and i'm gonna drill a hole for the speedo so it's gonna do the one gauge in the middle i think that's gonna look quite quite cool eventually so yeah, now I just need to finish that off, cut it roughly to the size, first grinding it with an angle grinder and bench grinder, and now it's just a tedious job with the file, so I'm going to do that, and yeah, finally I'll have that section done, and yeah, slowly, step by step. that part is done all cut nice to shape that's where the tank sits and mount so that's all good and now working on that piece cut the hole with the biggest drill bit that I've seen in my life this guy that was fun and now the idea is to mount it in the rubber to just uh, reduce vibration and just make it a nice snug fit. So yeah, I got it to size, but yeah, I wanted to make the hole a little bit tighter. So now I can just work it with my favorite tool again and just make it nice and snug. And uh, that's the speedo that's gonna go in. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, got it in. Nice, tight, snug fit. Uh, so yeah, once that painted black, I think that's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Project for today is to fit the battery somewhere here. I really wanted to have a, a lot of power with all those starter issues, so I went with this battery. I think it's like 530 cold cranking amps. So uh, it should do the job, but it's quite big. So I'm just thinking what is the way to fit it the best. So I think I'll make the box for it first and then think how to put it in. So the box for the battery is coming along quite nicely. Now I need to weld it and then make some mounts for it. I should have filmed how I've done it, but basically that was here. And I just drew the shape of it. First that side of it, and the back, the other wing, the bottom and the front. Before I cut it out, I just run the uh, angle grinder on all the edges, so then see it's easier to, to bend them and then with the help of a couple of clamps the vise and a friend <laughs> I managed to yeah bend it around nicely so it fits the button really nice so it left me a bit of space for some padding in the inside of it so yeah so far so good now I just hope <laughs> that this goes well, but yeah, I'll show you how it ends up. Alright, so that's all welded up. I think it came out quite well. You can clearly see where I started. <laughs> yeah, that was the first one. But then after that, yeah, pretty nice. I saw a couple of just little tags here because that's where I was cutting it a bit for to bend it so probably I didn't have to do it I just for like sleepless nights thinking if that's gonna crack ever or not I decided just to put a couple of those tiny bits so yeah that works and now I'm just gonna get a flap disc go around it make it nice and smooth and yeah what you uncle So I decided to put it on a bit of an angle like that because I think with well, the bike it looks the most coherent, I think. So now I'm thinking to use the original mount for the center stand, leave these that bit, so then we'll lock onto this so it will move left or right. And yeah, just change that cardboard into metal. HPM. I finished cutting them out. Uh, I still need to go inside to like, stack four of them together, cut them together so they're very, very even. And then I'll stack them two each on each side because it's all becoming a bit heavy now. But Later on I will just make some lightweight operations on it and cut some holes in it and just leave basically only what I need from it. Uh, I still wanted to have those hooks uh, quite solid, so yeah. Two on each side, and so try to even them out a bit more tomorrow, then weld them on and see how it works. Alright, so this is my battery box finish, this is my take on it. So I used the original mount 
for the center stand actually the, this end bit is the piece from the center stand that I cut and welded those uh, bracket mounts here and yeah the box sits like that and then I'll see I'm just waiting to get the rectifier and start the solenoid delivered I'm thinking if I'll be able to mount it maybe here I don't know if that won't be too close to the tire but I'll see how it looks and maybe start a relay in there on the other hand that's just the engine here so maybe that'll be too warm for it there but let's see but basically yeah that was the idea for it to be able to use the original mount so yeah oh here stay stock so i kept that because i think that's holding the frame together and then you see people cut it up but i just decided to keep that and yeah these are the hooks that just go in there and yeah i think i'm gonna cut some holes in it or maybe drill, drill some holes or cut some slits or something just to get some weight off it because it came up a bit heavy but on the other hand, I don't know, it sits very solid on it, so there's no way that it's like too heavy, it's gonna come off or anything. And with the lighter lithium battery, I saved some weight, and basically the bike is all stripped, will be stripped, so I don't know if that extra couple of pounds will make a difference. So let's see how it goes, maybe just for the aesthetics, I'll just uh, do some cuts in it, but we'll see.